Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I am going to be unboxing the BoxyCharm Premium Box for February of 2023. Now if you're unfamiliar with the BoxyCharm Premium Box, it is their more premium monthly subscription. It retails for $39.99 and comes with six full-size beauty products inside. You do get to choose one of those products on choice day. And on top of the $39.99, there's also a $1.99 handling fee, and then depending on what state you're in, state tax as well. Now, this is my PR unboxing, so this one was sent to me free for review, but I do also pay for the premium box and all of the boxes, so those will be up on my channel later in the month. Now, normally I do an unboxing and a try-on, and obviously you can tell I don't have makeup on my face. Um, I won't be trying on any products today. As many of you guys know who follow my channel, I had surgery on both my eyelids, um, and my eyes are looking a lot better, but I'm still not in a place where I want to try any makeup on my face right now, so we're going bare face and we're just gonna unbox it, but we're still gonna have a good time. And with that, welcome back to all the sub box lovers out there and welcome if you're new. My name is Katrina and on this channel I unbox lots of different subscription boxes and a lot of beauty boxes. So if you're into that, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and make sure that you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on future uploads. I am so happy that you're here hanging out with me today unboxing this box. When you open up the premium box, that is what it looks like. It looks like the theme this month is treat your heart out, which is perfect for Valentine's Day. Now I will say normally it lists all the products on the back with the retail value, but it doesn't this month. It says epic news is coming. We've got something epic in the works and can't wait to tell you about it. Follow us on Instagram at BoxyCharm and get excited for the biggest beauty news of the year. Interesting. I am genuinely really curious to see what it is. I'm assuming this won't be announced by the time that this is, so I'm pre, I am pre-filming this, so if it has been announced, then y'all already know. If not, let me know down in the comments below, what do you think it could be? All right, so because there's no card, I don't know retail values, I don't know descriptions, so we're just gonna go into this a little bit blind. All right, the very first thing that I'm pulling out is super duper cute. This is from the Beauty Bakery, and this is their The Butter Hydra Silk Primer which retails for $24. Now, I have it pulled up on Ulta. That's how I know how much it costs since we don't have the card. But the packaging, I mean, Beauty Bakery's packaging is always super cute, but this is so cute. It's got that like outer thing. You can even tell it's got like the measurements, kind of like what a regular stick of butter would look like. All right, so it like slides out like the sleeve like that. And this is then what the inside packaging or like the other part of the packaging looks like. It just has the measurements on one side. <gasps> oh, it has the measurements on the actual package as well. Now the actual package does say what it is. Um, and how does this open? Oh, okay. So it's like a stick primer. Okay, I don't know if that's what I was expecting. Um, so on the site, it says Beauty Bakery's The Butter Hydra Silk Primer is a lightweight hydrating primer that provides your skin a smooth canvas and extends the wear of makeup. Okay, it does look a little bit pearlescent. I'm feeling it. Oh, it feels really silky smooth on the hand. It kind of feels like butter, but not in a gross way. Okay. I don't mind that at all. It makes the skin super duper soft. I do like to wear primer and I do like to try out new primers. Normally I t tend to use the type of primer that you like squeeze in your hand rub and like apply more like a moisturizer maybe um, than one that's like a stick, but the packaging is <laughs> super duper cute. Um, so I'm actually really excited to try this out when I can finally wear makeup again. The next product out is from Refreshments, which is owned, I think, by the same company that owns BoxyCharm. This is their Velvety Body Cream in Unscented. Um, I guess this retails for $14. I pulled up the refreshment sites. Now, this is a product in the box. You can also add these as like, I think add-ons, I think to BoxyCharm. I think there's a way to do that. Or you can, I think, order from them directly. There's different scents. Like I said, I got Unscented, um, but they do have like coconut colada, citrus spritz, and ginger splash as some of the other scents. So it says that this nourishes and restores dry skin. It's quick absorbing and non-greasy, and it has a rich formula that hydrates up to 24 hours. Um, the products I think are really good. I personally don't like the packaging. I'll be very honest, I don't don't like the packaging, but you get a nice big body cream. I do wish that I got a scented one, not gonna lie. I'm fine with unscented. Unscented probably works, especially for a lot of people. They may actually prefer the unscented. I would have liked the scent, but um, it's a it's a big thing. It's eight fluid ounces, um, and it's vegan, free of parabens, phthalates, and sulfates as well. The star ingredients are shea butter, grapeseed oil, and olive oil. 
The next thing out is from Alley Oop, and this is a beauty tool. It's the Multitasker 4-in-1 Makeup Brush. This retails for $28. Now, I've gotten this a bunch of times in different boxes. Um, so I'm gonna put this one in a future giveaway, but I'll still show it to you. So this is what it looks like. I love the blue color on it and the bristles are super duper soft. Now it's a four in one because you can unscrew it. So this on this side, there's like a beauty sponge and then underneath there is like a different shadow brush. And then if you screw that back on, go to this side, which you can use for like blush, bronzer, powder, whatever you want. Then on this side, there is like a liner or brow brush, however you wanna use it. Um, so it's a nice little four-in-one for travel, for things like that. I absolutely love the color. I just personally already have this. Um, so it's a nice little on-the-go beauty tool. All right, up next, we have a product from Ace Beauté. This is their Pout Perfect Liquid Lipstick. Um, according to their site, this retails for $17.99. And there's definitely a handful of shades um, that they offer. I got mine in the shade Manifest. <gasps> Ooh, the packaging is so pretty for this oh my goodness and also the shade is really like this is definitely a shade i will use it feels really nice like it's plastic it's not metal or anything like that but it still feels really really nice and it feels like really luxurious like the packaging on this is 10 out of 10. um so when you open it up it's not this part it's like this part which i don't know it's like really small actually we've got like a triangular applicator it doesn't have like a hole in the center or anything like that i will swatch it on my hand Ooh, that's like a creamy, like velvety, I guess it's a matte, but it's like a creamy matte, if that makes sense. Like, I don't think it's gonna dry down. Um, I don't smell anything. Like it doesn't necessarily have a scent uh, to it that I smell, but like, that's really pretty. I wonder if this does dry down matte or not because I'm not necessarily getting the vibe that it will. So it doesn't really mention the finish, but it says it's a pigment packed and nearly weightless formula. Your lips will stay looking beautiful all day long with no cake or crack in sight. Plus the velvet matte air whipped formula glides on easily and instantly locks in color. Okay, cool. It has like a, okay, it has a velvety finish. So it is gonna dry down, but it, it's probably gonna not, that's why it won't have the cracking because it's that whipped in velvety texture. I actually really like it and I can't wait to like, this is definitely a shade that I'll use and the packaging is like really nice. So honestly, this is my favorite thing in this box so far. All right, up next we have a palette. In fact, the next two things are different kinds of palettes, which is very exciting. This one is from Eloise Beauty and this is their Secret Garden Blush Palette, which retails for $56. I'm wondering if this is a new product. Maybe not. It doesn't have any ratings on their website, but that might not mean anything. Um, so it's their 3D Blush and Glow Palette. Y'all, I've said this in like a million videos that I was like, I need a new blush because the one I had been using, I had been using forever. And I went out and bought a Charlotte Tilbury blush and now every box is having blush. Like I keep getting blushes in boxes. So I'm really genuinely excited to get this. I'm just mad that I went out and bought a different blush. But the packaging, when you pull it out of the sleeve, is exactly the same with that gold foiling and the beautiful flowers. Oh, wow. Um, this is what the shade looks like. So you do get a mirror and it's really pretty because the pans or the pigment in the pan is shaped to look like a rose. Okay. I think I said this retails for $56. I, this does look a little bit like bright or dark, not dark, pigmented for my fair skin complexion, but I'm going to go ahead and swatch each of them. All right. This is what they look like on my fingers. You can definitely tell a difference in the shades. All right. So there they all are there. I actually do think that I can use some of them. I probably will just go in with a lighter hand um, to make sure that I don't like, like look like a clown by the end of it. But I do think there's some really pretty ones in here. They all have a tiny bit of shimmer in them. Some are more shimmery than others. Um, so just something to keep in mind if you prefer a shimmery or non-shimmery blush, but I think they're really pretty. And I actually think that this palette will work for a lot of different skin complexions, which I really, really like. So a very fun palette to play around with. All right, and last but not least, we received a palette from Ciate London. This is their Royal Edition eyeshadow palette, which retails for $48. Um, this is an exclusive 24 piece eyeshadow set. It says it's out, sold out right now. Um, so it says you can mix and match the silky pigmented mattes with the super shimmery metallics to create countless eye looks. All right, let's pull it out. I will say like, it's a big sized palette. It's not small. Ooh, okay. So there is a full length mirror and these are what the shades look like there. 
lots to work with. I don't want to say it's overwhelming, but there are a lot of different options in this palette, which can be really fun because it means like you can do a lot of different things. There's definitely a lot of pinks and reds and orange. Like there's definitely a lot of warm toned, but there are some really pretty, like you've got like a dark shimmery blue and a light shimmery, shimmery blue. If I was going to do an eye look with this today, I think I would have gone blue for funsies. Um, but there's definitely a lot of things. And for a February box, there's definitely some really pretty pink shades. If you want to do like a pink or a pink and red look for Valentine's day, this palette's got you covered. I will swatch just a couple of the shades for you. All right. So there are some of the shades. Ooh, those look really, really pretty. I definitely went in with like, Oh, that shade, the diamond shade. Is that what it's called? It's called diamonds. That's stunning. And there's some mattes and some shimmers there. They all swatch pretty decently. Obviously what you do on your eyes is different than what you swatch on your hand, but I think this is a really fun palette. I like that it's not just a neutral palette, but it's also like not so colorful that it's scary, if that makes sense. Like it's a workable palette if you're not like comfortable using a lot of different shades and shadows and colors and things like that. I feel like there's some stuff you can work with. Now, if you like a super light look, you're going to be more limited, but there are some light colors in this palette that you could work with. So very, very fun palette. All right. So that was everything in my BoxyCharm Premium PR box for February. Now, I don't know what variation this is. Normally there are variations. I'm going to assume that there are variations, even though the back of the card doesn't say anything about a variation this month. I'm assuming there will be. That being said, this is a very makeup heavy box this month. It's not always that way. Um, but the only like skincare product was this. I mean, I guess technically the primer is a skincare product, but I consider primer like a makeup product because if I'm not wearing makeup, I'm not wearing a primer, if that makes sense. Um, but I might still wear a lotion or things like that. And then you did get a makeup tool, but I thought it was a pretty good box. My favorite thing, hands down this lipstick. I'm going to get so much use out of that lipstick, but I love that there's like a lot of like I don't know, you get blush, you get eyeshadow, you get lips, you get primer. Like, I just feel like it was a really good box from that perspective. Now, I've obviously received some of these things before, but that just, that's life. Um, so I would love, love, love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. What do you think of the BoxyCharm Premium Box for February? Again, I will be unboxing this again later in the month uh, for my paid for, also my paid for sister versus sister base box and a PR base box if that hasn't gone up before this one. So definitely let me know all your thoughts down in the comments below. Let me know if we don't know yet, what is the epic news that's coming? What do we think it is? I'd love to know your thoughts down in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, make sure that you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on future uploads. And I'll see you in my next video.